there are quite a few videos on YouTube showing you how to make this uh, cube in a cube. I uh, made a couple here. Uh, I don't use the uh, typical method that they show on, on the, the YouTube videos. Most of the time they're showing the, uh, making these using a drill press and uh, a Forstner bit to make it and that, that works quite well. But the thing with the uh, Forstner bit is that inside the cube you'll always have that little point because of, because of the point with the, the Forstner bit. So I found I can make them with my CNC uh, router here and uh, actually add a little twist to them uh, because I can actually, I don't know if you can see that, you can actually do some engraving on the cube before you, uh, before you cut it loose there. There's some initials on there. I don't, again, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I'm going to be making one today. I've got a, uh, a cube here squared up and uh, for the most part I'm going to, I'm going to show how to make one of these using a, a CNC router. Okay, I start out by getting my uh, my little cube block uh, locked in here securely, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the round hole with this uh, one inch round uh, and just plunge that in uh, slowly. And uh, I'm actually gonna make about an inch and a half hole. But I put uh, diagonal lines across the the uh, cube here, and then I use this bit with the point so I can get a good accurate center. And uh, now I'm gonna now I'm just gonna cut down and then just keep flipping the block over till I cut that hole on each side and then I should end up with a cube uh, inside there. Okay, so I've got a uh, the hole plunged here on four sides, and now I've got to plunge a hole on each of the uh, end sides, and hope that I don't go too far that it breaks apart. But you have to kind of calculate this out and make sure that uh, you just come down and leave enough material to hold that cube in place until you're ready to cut it out. So we'll try it on the end pieces. Okay, you can see now that I've got all six. Uh, holes plunged in there and I've still got the, uh, the cube being held in there with enough material that I can actually put a very small uh, a, a quarter inch 60 degree V bit and I can actually engrave something on the sides of this cube before I cut it free. So I'm going to change my tooling out and uh, program something to go on the sides of this and, and uh, then we'll cut that you know, engraving in there. Okay, so I finished the engraving on the, uh, the little cube within a cube there, and we'll take a look at it here and see how it did. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, hopefully you can see that. It's the, uh, 
logo for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So everybody say it with me now. Roll Tide. Okay. Now all that's left to do is just uh, cut the little uh, little tabs here that's holding that cube in and what we'll have is a cube inside a cube. Okay, so I've got the block cut loose now. Still got some sanding to do uh, from where the uh, where the little tabs were holding this on. But now you can see how you can make a uh, cube in a cube and add a little uh, something different by see if I can hold that where you can see it engraving something on the uh, cube before you before you cut it out and release it there uh, from the from where it's being held in. Also, you might. Uh, want to notice that I when I put in this engraving bit to uh, to be able to, to engrave on that cube I had this uh, this bit stuck in this bits not very much uh, it's not very long at all so I had it stuck just barely in there just enough for the collet to hold it and I need to do that so that it would reach in there because it has to go down uh, probably about uh, 13 16 of an inch or so before it's even touching the, the block there So I did extend that down and, and just tighten it up. So that's one thing you gotta uh, Be sure and do and the other thing is when you're setting your zero for your machine and again I've already cut this out. So I'll try to hold it uh, It's hard to set the zero on that bit because you're you have to actually I take a piece of paper and slide in between here just a strip to uh, set the zero, so you have to make sure you get that set just right each time you turn the block in case there's a few thousandths difference in the, the width of the block, that way you'll get a good uh, even engraving on, on all sides. But anyway, that's it uh, for this, this little project. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video, and now you know how to make a cube within a cube using a CNC router. Thanks for watching.